Am I the asshole? For telling my child's daycare teacher that my child won't finish cleaning up. My two-year-old daughter has been in a home daycare for a few months now. The teacher, Sasha, is very nice. I am normally all for my daughter cleaning her own messes. However, I find when I arrive, Sasha expects my daughter to finish cleaning up whatever she was playing with. Which again would be fine, but it delays us getting out the door and heading home. Sometimes we have plans, etc. I started texting Sasha when I was so many minutes away, asking her to get my daughter ready and that seemed to work. My daughter would be in her jacket and reading a book, easy to put away versus a huge Duplo project or similar. Until today. Things were crazy and I was in a rush. We had a lot to do this afternoon and I was running behind because I had car trouble. When I arrived, my daughter and some friends were in the middle of cleaning up a big mess. I told my daughter that we had to go and to get her coat. Sasha said she needed to finish cleaning up her part. I said any other day, sure, but I am running late and we cannot miss this appointment. Sasha tried arguing that the kids need to learn responsibility and I flat out said no. I grabbed my daughter, put her coat on and left. As I said, Hectic afternoon so I only just now had time to check my texts. I had one from Sasha saying poor planning on my part doesn't mean I can break rules. I pointed out this is not in the contract and I can bring my child home whenever I need want. She accused me of undermining her authority. I was given a verbal warning which I found ridiculous. Am I the asshole? Info do you collect your daughter at wildly different times every day or around the same time? If it's the same time she should make sure any big messy projects are cleared up in good time and have quiet reading time or similar at the end of the day. If it's wildly different then you need to make sure you are keeping her informed. Woo not the asshole. I have about a 7 years of home daycare experience. Messy plays for mornings or early afternoon. After 430 or 5, depending on when your pickups start is for quiet reading or screen time. Things you can drop and go. Parents do not want to wait around for toys to be cleaned up. As a provider, I don't want to work late either. This is poor time management by the daycare provider. Not the asshole I worked childcare and if you have a set time for pickup then Terry's no reason cleanup can't be started before then. Then give the kid an activity that takes a few seconds to put away when you get there. It's common practice in most care centers for easy pickups for both kids and parents as it's harder to get the kid to put things away when the parents are there. Info depends on how regularly this occurs. The way you worded things makes me suspect this isn't the first time you've just grabbed your kid and gone. Not the asshole but would it be possible on days like this to let the teacher know daughter needs to leave by X time because of an appointment so that she knows in advance that you will be picking her up and leaving by that time? Not just texting ahead, but making it known that you will be out the door by a certain time, regardless of mess. It doesn't matter whether you're TA or not. What matters is whether or not you're willing to find a new care provider for your daughter. Her caregiver is telling you that your behavior was unacceptable to her and if it continues she will demand that you find somewhere else for your child. Not the asshole. The daycare should switch to quick cleanup activities for her around pickup time. Unless you arrive at wildly different times every day, it should be pretty easy. The teacher should be more proactive. It's not fair for parents to wait while a kid cleans up a mess they made under someone else's care at two years old. Maybe when they are older but for a two years old it is the caregiver's choice what they do really. I'm all for teaching clean up and not letting parents undermine to a point but they have to work with you. You're the asshole. What message does this sort of thing send to your daughter about responsibility if she's in a hurry it's okay to leave behind a partially completed job. Communicating with the daycare is one thing, but if the cleanup is particularly big, then the job still needs to be taken care of first. So wait. You came and picked her up early, while they were cleaning up and you were running late. The teacher had ample time to get them to clean up, they still had a hour since you were expected to arrive. Utter. 
you're the asshole you were an hour earlier than usual, didn't communicate the change in your schedule, and then expected the daycare to rush for your lack of preparation. Your appointment isn't an emergency and you dropped the ball when you didn't let her know in advance. Just apologize and do better next time. Not the asshole. Assuming you're not picking up early or at random times without any warning, it's completely reasonable for cleanup to happen before pickup time. I've never heard of this at any daycare again, assuming pickup time is consistent and all known in advance. Sorry oh, sounds super frustrating. I hope your car troubles are resolved. I think it's totally reasonable to kindly and respectfully request that your daughter be encouraged to participate in cleanup prior to pickup. You're the asshole. You showed up earlier than your expected time and undermined your daycare worker by telling your daughter she doesn't have to clean up after yourself. I'm shocked you're getting so many positive votes. You blew it, and you were rude to your daughter's caregiver. This is all on you and your lack of communication. Your sense of entitlement is insane yeah, we were early but we are too important and busy to help clean up. Do better. Better. It's all about you. Just cause you pay for the daycare doesn't mean you can treat the workers like they're your slaves. Sasha expects my daughter to finish cleaning up whatever she was playing with. Which again would be fine, but it delays us getting out the door and heading home, which you fixed by texting and giving a heads up so Sasha can have your daughter clean up her mess by the time you're there. You had a lot to do? And do you think a preschool teacher has nothing to do? You're the asshole. In the words of your provider, your poor planning doesn't mean you can break the rules. You're the asshole I've read your comments and you left out information to make yourself look better to get people to side with you. You're the asshole. It's not her fault whether you are running late or not. If there are rules, rules are for everyone. The other kids probably don't like having to clean after your kid. If you like the daycare, I recommend you apologize. Good spots are good to find. What about you show up every day at the same time? You seem to think everyone else would run on your time, so maybe show up on the dot every day. You're the asshole. You owe that teacher an apology. She was working with you for days to have your daughter ready for you. Now you have a bad day and you don't text her per the agreement. As that to you sounded short with her when she had been doing you the favor. You got a verbal warning. Hope that's all. Will she respect your texts going forward? Will she have your daughter get ready early every day because you might forget to text? Or will they kick you out for your attitude? Got another day car you like? Nah. You were late. They enforced the policy. Nobody is TA here. If you continue causing trouble with the staff, you will be TA though. You're the asshole. Your kid made a mess. Your kid needs to clean up their part. If you were in such a hurry you should have helped clean up. I'd quote child care is like where you are, but where I'm from good, affordable child care is extremely hard to get into and there are huge waiting lists. It makes sure not to make this a habit less you get dismissed. 